It was symbolic. You call this symbolic. Stealing the Cardinal's nightcap? It's a reminder. A reminder of what? That his head is cold? A reminder that he's not invulnerable. Athos. That he is not the only power in France. Athos. That the king is the king and he has us to back him up. Athos. What? We're surrounded. Oh, bugger. <laughs> <laughs> this way, follow me.
Do I look all right? I'm sorry, I was just in a hurry. And, and this, I'm chasing this man. You're sorry? Yes. And that's all you have to say. What else can I say? It was an accident. Listen, I've got to run. There's this man with a scar and I've got to kill him. Obviously from the country. What did you say? <laughs> I said, you're from the country. So what if I am? Are you implying something? I'm implying you have country manners, boy. You're in Paris now, so try to improve them. My manners, sir, are as good as yours. And perhaps I, that's saying more than you are. Was that an insult? It was certainly meant to be. Shall we settle this now? I can't right now, because I'm chasing someone. Name the time. Ted, this evening, behind the Luxembourg. Done. Oh, oh dear. I'm sorry. <laughs> do you fight right-handed, by the way? I do, but I'm even better with my left, so I suggest you book a church for the funeral. <laughs> silk. Pure silk from India. One of a kind, too. <laughs> wow. It takes months and months to make a piece like this. Do you see it? <laughs> Feel it right here. As light as a feather, yet as strong as chain mail. Uh, just look at the color. It's uh, so soft. Hey! Uh, what are you doing? Uh, oh, sorry! Get, you fool! Get up, get up, get up! What are you doing? Sorry, I swear I'll pay for it. Oh, you will pay for this indeed, good sir. It takes, it's, it takes months and months to make a piece like this. Uh, Sir, I'm very... Do you think that garments like these grow on trees? Uh, 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 sir? Or do you perhaps think that garments like these float on in the wind as a gift from the gods of fashion? So we might as well just pluck them. <laughs> sir, I'm very sorry. Forty crowns. What? Forty crowns. That's what you owe me. This old thing? <laughs> it's one of a kind. It comes from India. Sir, I saw suits like that down by the stalls by the river. They wanted a crown fifty for it, and I said it was too much. <laughs> I believe you're mistaken. Oh, I don't think so. There's a whole pile of them. They looked identical. Natal, <laughs> wait! It's in the park of puzzle trees and the petals of little <laughs> spiced roses. You are a puppy, sir, an imbecile, and I demand satisfaction. Uh, but I was only trying to- Satisfaction, sir. Do you agree, or do you cower in fear? A d'Artagnan never cowers, sir. Name the time. Eleven o'clock, behind the Luxembourg. I'll be there. <laughs> and if you need a new cloak, try the stalls by the river. They're a crown fifty. <laughs> Thanks to you, I lost the man with the scar. <laughs> and all I've got is a cold. And I'll die at 10 o'clock tonight. Or 11 if I get lucky. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Artemis, you're making me blush. I'm fine, you're on holy orders. Oh, oh yeah, my <laughs> darling. And the sinful world that appears before us will perish into dust like a mirage of love. <laughs> Isaiah, chapter 45. <coughs> ah, sir! Yes? I believe that is the lady's handkerchief. Oh, is it? Oh, I'm so sorry. I wasn't thinking it. Here. Oh, get back! Oh, I'm sorry. I, 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 I could have cleaned and then, and then return it to you tomorrow. How's that? Or I could wash one of the fountains here. <laughs> or I just do something. Sir, you've insulted the very name of woman. <laughs> <laughs> Am I? I just thought I blew my nose. Are you being funny? I didn't think so. I believe you're being funny, sir, and laughing at me and the lady. And I do not like it. I demand satisfaction. Don't tell me. Twelve o'clock behind the Luxembourg. <laughs> no. Eleven. It'll have to be twelve. I'm booked. Fine. <laughs> Twelve o'clock and don't be late. Done. Done. And he shall enter into the land of darkness, and there he shall meet the shadow of death. Job, chapter 10. <laughs> and then shall he pull down his trousers, and then shall he stick out his backside. D'Artagnan, chapter 12. <laughs> God in heaven, I'm as good as dead. I mean, what do 
for 18 years and been snuffed it all out over a silly accident? Some things are worth dying for, and I would die for them in an instant. But is this why I trained with my father for all those years? Is this why he taught me everything he knows about swordsmanship? About life? About honor? Is this what honor means? Dying because I blew my nose?